Today, in Adventure Quest Worlds, they updated the new class, Martial Artist, the latest class in the game. The one that's in the 10k chest right now, the one that you can farm very easily right now. Uh, so this class got an update already. Uh, it's only been, what, like two business days since it released? I don't know if they update things on the weekend, but yeah, so pretty quick. And uh, let's see what changed and let's give it a try in game, see if it feels any better to actually use the class because before it was no good. All right, so the tweet reads, as an update to the martial artist class is currently being tested on Twig and Graveland servers. Read below for details. Update to martial artist is being tested. I read, read that. Uh, the intent on this change is to address latency related issues by reducing the amount of required skill inputs. Yes, uh, Adventure Quest Worlds has latency issues. As this adjustment, that's the only issue it has, uh, adjustment improved the performance of the class beyond levels intended. A few auras also received changes to keep the class's performance levels around the same as before. Uh, when used at max efficiency, okay, we will continue to monitor, what does that mean? Uh, why do they put the copy out there? We will continue to monitor your feedback and determine if any more changes are required. They put that they put that caveat there just you know because people are people uh pressing the skill now causes it to be continuously used until mana is the place is your auto attack or what would be your auto attack on any other class in this video game um uh, or up to a maximum of three times so they increase the stacks of that or not the stacks but the the amount you can use that until it stops your other skills from work until it stops working to three so i'd say that's a, that's a 50 percent increase that's that's great because it was only two before <laughs> it should be unlimited probably to actually make the class feel decent but you know uh the skill can also be used during global cooldown that's okay that's really good wait was that not the case before is that why it felt so bad anyway uh frogs are crushing jaw now has a cooldown uh, from 4 seconds down to 2, okay, and the stance outgoing damage went from 8% to 5% on the stacks. So you're losing percentage on the stacks, but the cooldown's faster, so decent. Uh, cooldown also the same on this one, and it gained the stance, now also reduces magic resistance. Uh, that's good. I'm, I'm guessing that's your opponent's magic resistance, not your own. Uh, and then Dragon Gorilla stance no longer reduces the target's outgoing damage. Oh, that's not good. Um... Crit, sorry, my phone. Uh, crit chance increase. Well, Griffin based stance are active. It went from 50 to 20. Wow, okay. They really nerfed that skill. Or, yeah, I guess that isn't. Yeah, it's a nerf. That's okay. Soaring Dragon. Like, why, are, why is it messing with magic resistance on a martial artist class? Thematically, I mean, I guess you are, like, there is a bit of magic going on with the frog zards and stuff, but I don't know. I don't. Martial artist magic. I mean, I guess. I guess. Whatever. Uh, Soaring Dragon. Dragon Stance now causes Pummel to reduce your targets. Out oh, so they remove the outgoing damage to Pummel. Okay, that makes sense now reading this to this. Okay, so Dragon Stance now causes Pummel. This is my first time reading this, if you can tell. Dragon Stance now causes Pummel to reduce the targets outgoing damage by 15% for 20 seconds. Stacks to 2. Okay, so you get 30% reduction there on the second stack. Uh, Dragon Base Stances... No longer increase damage resistance by 30%. Switching to Dragon Base Stance now causes your next use of Pummel to apply Spinning Dragon. Okay. Uh, and then Gorilla Dragon Stance outgoing physical damage per stack went from 8% to 5. Increase the damage to start Dragon Stance DOT. They never give numbers for that. You just have to guess. Uh, so, okay. Uh, for what we're reading here. Looks like they changed it, moved the power around a little bit. You're no longer getting the damage resistance. Uh, yeah, the dot increased, but we don't know how much. This got lowered, so yeah, we'll have to see how that actually affects it in game. And then uh, the concentration here, so this is your fist skill here. This one went from a 40 second cooldown down to 30, which is a buff. And then your fully focused duration went from seven to five, so it's a nerf. <laughs> but but there's 10 seconds less cooldown, so kind of eh. and then pummel no longer increases mana cost well fully focus is active so that's also good that is very good actually it's a really good change uh now 
uh, also increased the damage resistance by 20%, so they added more endurance onto the passives of the class as well. You can tank here. Uh, so they definitely did change it up a bit. I'm still still rating this though. Just the I love that the skill is continuous. That is actually something I suggested. They that like why? Let's how about the auto attack? Yeah, uh, bold uh, bold choice here. But how about how about we make the auto attack auto? Uh, that was my suggestion for the class because that would actually make it usable. Because it's a flash game and it lags and it kind of needs it to not it, like it kind of needs to play itself a little bit like. I'm I'm all for player agency and using skills and timings and stuff, but in this game, in this current state, that's not really a luxury that you can have, no matter what your PC is, no matter what your connection is. You, you kind of need the class to play itself a to some extent, uh, and I I don't know if these three three stacks on a continuous that might have solved it, but. Let's go into the actual video game and try it out. Okay, we gotta hop on to the Gravelin server. All right, so that's where it is updated. That and Twig, if you don't have your email activated for whatever reason, uh, you lost it. It's Yahoo Mail, I don't know. All right, so here we go. Should contact support, by the way, if that's the case. And let's try out the class. All right, here we are in the Hall of Classes. And this is what my class looks like. I just throw on some stuff. It's just a uh, pen, spiral, car of luck, uh, forge own helmet. Uh, probably not optimal at all, but we're not gonna. I'm not gonna judge the ba class based on DPS. I'm gonna go off at if this actually feels better to use. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't touched any of the keys, so let's see. If this actually feels better to operate. Damage per second doesn't matter. People are gonna min max that with Dauntless and potions and all that junk. So who cares about that? I actually care if it feels better because if it feels better then people are going to actually want to use it and then it actually makes sense to start trying to min max it with enhancements and stuff but if it doesn't feel good in the first place and if it lags and all that this isn't a good situation to test if it lags you probably want to go to a full room and try that out and I, I might actually do that in this video later on um i'm gonna try that actually so let's see if actually can you find a full room of people farming something in here maybe we go to elemental or something i don't know uh all right let's let's see so we hit the one skill, so wow, that's what? It, oh, okay, so we're gonna hit the two, and then the one, and it, it, it's gone like that. Okay, so that's that is interesting. Okay, yeah, that's just that's all your damage is gone. Yeah, definitely still a macro class, uh, it would seem. <laughs> Maybe not that bad as it used to be, but... Oh, wow. I don't think my ping's that bad, by the way. They said it was a latency issue. I have 46 milliseconds, which in an FPS game would be considered decent. Uh, so, I mean, not great, but not terrible. It would be about average for most people, I'd imagine. Uh, so, that should be acceptable for an MMO 2D game. Uh, 46 milliseconds. Uh, that should not be too bad. Uh, this is... It's... I... Okay. I don't need to use this more. This... Yeah. No. This... This is not a class for me. That's for sure. It's the fact that your auto attack can only be used... It, it uses itself instantly. It has a 0 0.5 second cooldown. And now it just instantly burns through three charges of it before your other skills can even be activated because they're still they're still on cooldown the only way this class would make sense is if uh, it wouldn't make sense this way but if none of your class none of your skills except for maybe your five skill had a cooldown and your five skill just if none of these skills had a cooldown this would make sense but you, maybe you make it so like maybe only yeah the way you stack these is different maybe if if there was like some skill to which one of these you were using at what times but no i don't know something about th this class just doesn't make sense to me in this game in the context of this game i can see i can see the vision of this for sure actually using this class does not feel great see uh, this needs to auto this needs to be auto 
That needs. To, I think if I think of this, I think maybe you solve it just by making that auto. Because if this is go, because also you gotta use your whole hand to use the glass. Uh, but yeah, I think if the auto attack was actually auto on this thing, uh, way better, way better. Uh, the way it is now, I this. It, it, you can use this and you can do well with it. I'm, I'm saying I'm not saying you can't because it looking it's looking like damage numbers are really decent here And I, this isn't even been maxed or anything like this like very solid like 16k six is being hidden very rapidly uh, I'm using my five skill here, but so like if you're using this properly and you're Stacked up with good enhancements and stuff like you're probably gonna do well with this, but it's just the fact, I don't know, you gotta move your hand in an awkward position. I feel like any amount of lag is still gonna ruin this class. Uh, I'm gonna go try to find a full room. And uh, probably hard to do on Graveland right now, but maybe I'll check out the uh, more common events that people are doing right now. And uh, let's see if we can actually uh, get into a laggy room. All right, there's only three people in the most recent release. Uh, not great, but there's no one at Elemental. Where have the botters gone? <laughs> Okay, never mind. I went to a few other maps, and yeah, there's. It's it, finding a full room of six people in a server with 200 people is an improbability. All right, so the class change, decent change. If you actually want to be using this class, kind of good. Uh, like you instantly get three pummels now. Uh, just the instantly three pummels get thrown out when you use your other skills. So that's like 3x times better than it used to be so that's a really good buff actually for the class in my opinion uh the other skills i, I still i mm, yeah you still have to click the pummel skill though every like one second so i think you're still gonna have the same problem where your hand's gonna be dead after like 20 minutes of using this class probably if you're farming like this in the same room over rapidly uh but other than that you know DPS seems pretty all right. I'm sure you can make it even way better and good change, I guess. And But I still don't think this class is going to get wide adoption, which is probably what they expected. I mentioned class designers expected the class to be very much niche uh, when they made it. But yeah, anyway, for a birthday class, it's kind of weird to put on a niche thing. They did this with the calendar class too. Like, wasn't the last calendar class also sort of like this where you had to like spam the auto attack as well? Hopefully the next calendar class isn't like that. So, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this change. Have you tried it out for yourself? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, there'll be more uploads this week. So check it out and get subscribed. And I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.